Leo, hello and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of September 8th through to the 14th. Where has the time gone? Let's dive into your reading with a few cards from the angels and get a sense of what's happening as the sun is in your second house. We've got ego. Womp womp. Someone is wearing a mask to maybe keep themselves secure and justice is going to prevail. Whoa, this is so interesting because, um, you know, we're either, some of us will go to, shoot, I have to read a quote. This is such a moment of just character test, you know? We go out, we set out to denounce, but end up an accomplice is a quote from Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half. I was just watching it yesterday. So if someone's coming along to denounce you and then becoming an accomplice to other people who denounce them, learn from those mistakes. Learn from where other people devalued you, disappointed you, made you out to be a villain, and take off the mask and understand that justice is going to be served. And that mask could be masking your confidence with really actually feeling your feelings and being vulnerable. You got the magician card. Whoa, lots of major arcanas from the angels. So you guys are having a lot of character resurgence, character rebirth. Pluto has moved out of your seventh house and into your sixth house of daily life, daily goals. I would say that, especially at this time, you guys are clearing up how you put the final like topping on the cake, the top tier of the cake to present your project or that bow on top of whatever it is that you do to present it to the world. We have the five of fire. So passionate, fiery week ahead. Aries got a similar sense of rising to the occasion, coming out on top from following the authority of the heart. And that may be what this Pluto and Capricorn transit shows you all to do in your daily life is to follow the authority of your heart. And with Mercury out of retrograde in shadow, still in Leo until Mercury Day this Wednesday, the 11th, we have two of water. So you might have been maybe second guessing a connection, second guessing a relationship or working to make it more fortified, working to make it more stable. And the angels are reporting that it is indeed getting closer. You guys are coming to maybe the end of some difficulty, maybe the end of some ego battles. And justice has prevailed in your marriage because you've been willing to take off that mask to stop fighting fire with fire in the outer world. And it's showing up from your daily habits, getting this final purge, this final sense of maybe closure and agency from Pluto moving into Capricorn. So we got a few cards from the wild unknown archetypes. So the shapeshifter, that ego is just saying that maybe there was a lot of people pleasing that was going on, maybe some falsehoods, a sense of self that was dependent on the circumstance, the person, the day, the moon sign. We are allowed to change, but there is a need for a consistent golden thread to connect us to our heart so that no matter how much we change, we come from the same heart space and not different facets of the mind. We have the village with justice. So perhaps you need to confront some things within a community or within your own sense of reach. So if that's not your community, maybe it's your household. And you have to understand that when you wield that, that decision to be just and to be just to yourself, as in to be um, worthy of honor, to be noble hearted, to wear your heart on your sleeve in your daily life, you can confront aspects of closed minded thinking of um, hive mind with your heart's authority. The magician with the thread, I felt the thread in here. It's, it's just saying that you guys are getting closer as long as you follow with trust the path that's emerging for you all this week. We have the venom with five of fire. And honestly, this is giving me Jupiter day. It feels like there might be some harsh words that have been spoken toward you, some toxicity, and it feels like it's going to completely absolve itself. There will, there might be an apology extended towards you in the best case scenario, Leo. However, if you decide that you want to get all up in somebody's business and confront their, um, viewpoint of the world, 
it's just going to come back to haunt you. You don't need that energy, especially with Pluto in your daily life. So your daily life might be getting an overhaul because you chose to not go for the low hanging fruit and to become an accomplice to someone that you wanted to stand up against. And your heart's authority will lead you. It will lead you to a, a developing relationship getting closer. So we have the underworld. It's giving, there has been some unearthing and there's fertile soil to be had around it. So whatever you have unearthed this past week and what's come to the surface for you to address in a way, maybe you dug up parts of yourself that you hid from yourself because you were being so um, people pleasing oriented. Your ego was telling you that people didn't like you as you were. And now you're starting to take a chance on yourself, to bet on yourself, to bet on what you're actually interested in so that your people can find you. And maybe there was harsh words spoken to you from a young age and those are your core memories. And now you're allowing for that venom to be extracted, to change up your thinking with that five of fire. It could actually serve to be not conflict, but an evolution of yourself and um, a mercurial adjustment. After 88 days, Mercury has completed its cycle around the sun. So in those, in the past 88 days, what new conclusions have you come to Leo? All right. This card is sticking out. We have Sophia divine wisdom. Beautiful. Let's see. What does Sophia have to say? 48. Lung with your decisions or vibrate to your authority of your heart what does your heart have to say this week about pleasing people or getting involved in other people's perspectives on you or opinions and what can you show them through rising up like the phoenix through the ashes of maybe this this version of yourself that would people please or conform to the circumstance conform to someone's outlook and maybe even show them that you could do exactly what they said that they, that you were doing because sometimes that is ego is being like, Oh yeah, I'll show you and proving the person right. But taking it that much further to aggrandize the situation, we can evolve. We can come out of that Leo. Sophia divine wisdom, the empowerment message, human wisdom comes from personal experience, but divine wisdom is unknown to our life experience. When we ask for help, we are asking for guidance from a source greater than us, a great unknowable mystery. Now I'm remembering, and perhaps by Venus Day, Friday the 13th, when the moon crosses over Pluto, you all will have an emotional release around what you've allowed to just kind of exist in your life and your world as reactions, as a sense of obligation to proving people right for whatever reason, that ego, maybe that inner child was criticized and you were told you're a bad kid by someone, which was never true. It's just that they didn't know how to handle their emotions and they projected that onto an innocent clean slate. When we ask for help, we are asking from, for guidance from a source greater than us, a great unknowable mystery. When we receive it, it is often like, it is often life altering and affects us in ways beyond our comprehension. The Gnostic goddess Sophia, who brought the material world into being, arrives to show you how fate and destiny operate in relationship to synchronicity. When you least expect it, opportunities and meetings spring up as if out of nowhere. Your life begins to work out and you sense your alignment with a higher purpose and power. Trust you are divinely protected and directed. Practice the act of faith before results. This is an essential key to co-creating your world. Faith before results, Leo. And the alignment message. When you are disconnected from your higher power, you begin to believe that you alone are the source of abundance in life. It is wise to commit to a conscious and deliberate daily connection to higher power. Here we go. When you forget to do this, you may place too much attention on materialism, work, money, goals, and the like. The goddess Sophia reminds you that it's the spiritual aspect and the invisible aspect, the essence of your desires, that means more than form. You may be mistaking something false, which would be that ego and shape shifter for divine guidance right now. It's time to come back into alignment and receive true divine guidance divested 
from wishful thinking or ego attachments. Opening to the wisdom of the mystery of the universe is your alignment task. Let the goddess Sophia guide you to your magic. The most meaningful and beautiful expression of yourself is waiting for you. Wisdom comes whenever we're ready for it, but we don't want to become old before we grow wise. That is foolishness, according to King Lear, which my husband and I saw this summer at the Bell Shakespeare Theater in Australia. I just want one more card for that Venom and Five of Fire and the Mystique of Magdalene for Leo. I'm calling for that to guide us into this divine wisdom and not mistaking any falsehood for the truth. We want the truth to be clear. Rosa Galicia, sensuality and secrets. Love it. Let's see what it has to say. Look beyond the beauty to see what lies beneath. Once found, it is best to be silent about it. This knowledge could lead to a great healing for your body, mind, and spirit. In France, Mary Magdalene is known as the patron, patron saint of perfumi, perfumeries and apothecaries. She would have known that Rosa Galicia, the, the apothecary rose, it was used in healing ointments and evocative perfumes. Rose is an anagram for Eros, the god of love. Whoa. It became one of his symbols and not just because of its scent. In ancient Greek mythology, the rose was associated with secrecy because Eros gave a rose to the god of silence, Harpocrates, so that he would not reveal Aphrodite's secrets. When entering a room, a rose on the ceiling means that no nothing you hear or observe can be revealed or disclosed. This is called subrosa or under the rose. The whereabouts of Magdalene and her family were also subrosa, secret. The Rosicrucians and other esoteric groups still use this symbol in their meetings if the content should not be shared with anyone else. As an oracle card reader, you may adopt the subrosa symbol to assure your clients that the reading will be kept in strict confidence, be a trusted holder of knowledge. And perhaps there is some um, contracts, some NDAs you might have to sign this week, and you could trust that these are in your highest good and your highest alignment. Leo, have an amazing week. Until next time, aloha.